Okay, we're going to pick up with Rayman here. Um, I started this level. This is level three, the marshes. Um, I forgot to press record, but you didn't miss much. That's the start of the level. I just jumped over here and came up this little tree branch. I was just explaining that. I had friends over today. Friends I haven't seen in like two and a half years. So, yeah. I was supposed to be streaming today, but that didn't end up happening because I just ended up getting drunk. Um, I'm f in fact, I'm fairly wasted right about now. So if you want to see me play this kid's game while wasted, um, that's what's going to be happening. I'm probably going to be dying a lot. Uh, this is level 3 of Rayman, called the Marshes. This is a pretty good area. And there's like this little side place here with this creepy guy. I love this guy, actually. Uh, I'll explain him later, but just know that he's going to tell you to fuck off. And when he tells you to fuck off, uh, you just gotta go. Uh, there is gonna be a level later with him where he's like the main theme. But that's later. That is much later. Instead, we're just gonna go through the marshes here. Uh, this is probably not gonna go too well, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh... I told you because my reaction times are fucked. God, I haven't been this wasted in a long time, actually. Uh, it's all good. You've never seen me in a state like this before. That's for sure. Uh, you get to enjoy what's going on. So this area, the gimmick is that you rescue this little snake guy. His name is Sam. And uh, Sam with three S's. Four S's, Sam. And he's pretty good. He only shows up for like this one level. Uh, he doesn't know shit. That's the thing about him. Told you, he doesn't know shit. But he is gonna take us across this area. Uh, the gimmick here is gonna be that we'll ride him. And... We gotta go through this like linear stage and pick up everything. See, this is how it works. You can jump, you can pick up HP, you can bounce off the turtle shells. Okay, I think I missed one. Yeah, I missed one already. Yeah. The thing about this level is that uh, in principle, the lumps and shit. Fuck. Are not hard to get. But in reality. They are actually kind of hard to get. Okay, this is gonna be. This is gonna be bad. Uh, I shouldn't be playing a level that requires. So much. Like. Dexterity. Fuck. Normally I can get through this so easily. Uh, basically if you crouch like this, you can make it through most obstacles. Ah, damn it, I hit the wall. I mean, this normally happens anyways when you're playing this level. So, my drunk ass failing at this is probably fairly normal. Yeah, you gotta hit the switch. Okay, that's all that matters. We got the lums. All you gotta do is break these cages. And you gotta pick up the... God damn, you gotta be specific. Oh, you gotta be really specific. Okay. We'll come back for those. Uh... Because it's very easy getting uh, the 50 lums on this stage. What? It's still... Hold on. Doesn't matter. Damn. 
Listen, I thought that you can break through this with crouching. Yeah, you can. Told you. Oh, I missed a lump. Okay, I didn't miss that one. I didn't miss that one, right? I don't think I did. So that's the thing about this area. This is the only area like this in this game too. Uh, okay, I did miss it. Didn't miss it that time. Um, fuck. Okay. I, I don't remember this being this difficult, but you know, I'm in unique circumstances now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, there we go. We made it through. Oh, the fucking piranha. God, I, I, I like lost all my HP already. Like half my HP. And... I haven't even started on this shit. Cool. Oh, the pirate hit me. Okay, I get at least I got all the lums. Again, getting 50 lums in this stage is not that difficult. But I swear I pressed crouch there. Okay, maybe I didn't. Um, I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt. God, this is so embarrassing. For sure you ain't never seen me like this in any game. Have I ever been... Oh, I swear I hit that. Okay, there is... That's the stage? I don't remember it being that short. Damn. And he just sinks into the marsh. Fuck. I don't remember this. I remember this. the stages in this game being short. But... I sure still don't remember them being this short. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna hit up this stage again. And... Not fail at getting all the lums and cages. Because again, this should be mad easy. We're gonna save. So we could go on to the bayou, but... We're gonna come back here. And listen, think about it this way. The bayou is probably my favorite level in this game. I absolutely adore the bayou. So... Think about what I'm sacrificing to get 100% on this stage. Just think about it. Okay. This is more like it. Okay, so I got the switch. I hit it up again. But, yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh no! Okay. That was an intentional suicide. I'm going to not even lie about that. Man, you gotta be very specific. Because normally the lums in this game home in on you, but... On this stage, they sure shit don't do that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Did I still miss a cage? Which cage have I missed? That's what I'm thinking about. Eat shit chickens. Those enemies. Oh no. Oh 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Now all I gotta do is... Unfortunately... Commit suicide so that I can get the lums from... That mist cage. Okay. We are on track. We are on track to get through this shit. Then we can move on to my favorite level, which is the bayou. I should have a lot of favorite levels in this game. Man. This game is like some... Dark Souls level shit. When you're this wasted. Cool. We got it. All I gotta get is that lum from that pirate. Cool. Yeah, again, this is a very short, this is a very short level. Um, and all you gotta do is just be careful. And that's exactly what I was not doing. I'm an expert speedrunner of this game, so... Don't even underestimate me. Yes. Okay. We got it. We got it. We cleared the level. God, I genuinely don't remember this being so short. This thing is adorable, by the way. I really like this guy. It's weird because he only shows up for this one level. But he's like real friendly. So yeah, we got that. 100%ed boy. Which means... We are going to get access... To the bonus level. This bonus stage is absolutely gormless. Uh, the pretty little fairy has gifts for Rayman. And what you gotta do... Help baby Globox get to her before the pirate does. Which you do by... Absolutely meshing the shit out of left and right on your keyboard. I genuinely know, don't know who the fuck came up with this idea. That this is what you gotta do for the bonus stage. But this is... This is the most gormless shit ever. Ah, oh, I hate it. I hate this. I hated this when I was a kid too. Uh, this, this bonus stage, the bonus stages in this game are absolutely gormless. Um, you like really need a good mechanical keyboard. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try mashing the shit out of this. I don't know what this was in the console version. Okay, come on, just go. Go, 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 go. Uh, Oh man, is my keyboard like not made for this? Or are my reaction times fucked up? God, this is so difficult. Okay. I don't know it's be if it's because I'm drunk, but man, I hate this. Fuck off back to the Hall of Doors. We're gonna save. Um, isn't there supposed to be, hold on, isn't there supposed to be like a walk of, I, th I thought there was supposed to be a bonus stage here, anyways, we're gonna move on to the bayou, this is my favorite level, 22,730 slaves on board, we have access to the bonus stage anytime. Which is good. These are the pirates, the bad guys. It's the ultimate bad guy. Send the warship and destroy him. 
Yep. I love this ship, the design on it. So anyways, this level is awesome. This is by far... Oh, it's right here. Can we not access this? I thought we could access this. You must have enough lumps to go here, which I do. So this is a bonus area called the Walk of Life. I think it's to increase your HP. It's basically like a time challenge. Um, pretty easy. How the fuck do you get there? But there are 50 lumps on this stage. And this is not something I do often in this game, so please bear with me. I'll try to get as many lums as I can, but you basically gotta follow Lee, the fairy, and it's kind of like a time limit. This is an actual level of the game, so you can come back here anytime and do this. So that's why I'm not exactly stressing over missing out on some of the lums. These also increase your HP if I remember correctly. It's just a fun stage, you know. You get to practice your platforming. Again, I don't know if I said this before but this game ain't exactly fucking Dark Souls. Uh, in fact, I feel like for a kid's game, this game has like the perfect difficulty because when I was a kid, I actually found this game fairly challenging, but it's not like Crash Bandicoot, you know, or something which is like a genuinely insanely hard game. Two minutes, 13. Yeah, we got some more HP, which is good. Now the question is, should I redo this? Fuck it. I missed two lums, which is ridiculous that that's all I missed. And I gotta redo this. But... I'm gonna... This... Oh, fuck. I, I ain't playing. Today, I ain't playing. Listen. That bio level was embarrassing enough. With the amount of... How do you get there? Well, that must be it. There we go. That's all that matters. Told you. Now we're just gonna make it through the stage. Which is actually not that difficult. There is a more difficult version of this stage later on, which we'll get to. But I think you only have to collect the 50 lumps once. And you might as do it. You might as well do it on this easier section right here because uh, well, that's just the thing that makes sense, doesn't it? Man, this game has a lot of charm. This is not the most interesting stage in the world. Oops! I thought you could grab onto that. But this is, listen, it's a bonus stage, so whatever. Man, those fucking mashing gormless bonus stages are ridiculous. I remember those, oh fuck. I remember those when I was a kid and they fucked me up, that's for sure. Uh, I remember b being very pissed at those. 
I don't know how they worked on the console. I guess you just like mashed two buttons or something. But it almost seems like my controller is like, not controller. My keyboard is just like not equipped to handle the trauma. Which is interesting. But see, you can get, you can grab onto this. Whatever. You can shoot her as well, but ain't nothing gonna happen. Cool. All that matters is getting all the lums. Do your little Russian dance. And save. And we are going to the bayou. Actually this time. So, this is a pirate ship. These are like the most awesome things in this game. I love the fucking pirate ships. And sometimes you're gonna have levels where these pirate ships will kind of like hound you and chase you and you just gotta avoid them but the thing I love about this level is the atmosphere the music in this level is fucking awesome I love this tune and you can hear what I was talking about how every level track in this game follows the kind of same melody the kind of like Rayman theme is integrated into everything you can hear it on this level as well which is awesome It's a really creative way to kind of weave consistency into uh, tracks in a video game. To have like kind of one melody line integrated into every stage. I think that's really cool. Anyways, these early levels getting 50 lums on these is fairly easy yeah but the pirate ship is fairly passive here uh, it don't do shit actually later on it's gonna there will be some levels where it gets uh, fairly aggressive which is okay I mean, this is a kid's game. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. I say as I keep dying to set kid's game. Okay, there is a case somewhere. Weird. I don't remember. Ah, okay. There it is. There we go. Man, the music in this game is so good. Don't know if I mentioned, by the way, that you can kill the piranhas. Uh, they don't stay dead for long, that's for sure. Oh shit, he's a red pirate, a little bit more advanced, just a little bit. They're all bitches though, that's all I can say. I have this section. These exploding barrels. Right, keep almost falling off, but let's ignore that. Hey. 
These exploding barrels are gonna play a key role later. I will tell you that much. <laughs> Look at that tree. I actually didn't even remember that. Yeah, you have this thing. This is also a robot pirate. Uh, it's like a, kind of this monkey dude. That's how you beat them. You have to lure them into the cliff because you cannot actually damage it. Man, the team is sick in this level. Okay. You have that dude. There is another cage here. Don't worry. Ain't gonna miss it. Told you. Easy as hell. Yeah, these early levels, again, are fairly simple. Um, we're gonna forget what happened in the bayou not the bayou, in the swamps area because we don't talk about that I'm gonna get the other fucking bonus stage which is gonna be embarrassing listen, I I, like, I'm like genuinely trying This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is not. Cause you have to do left right, left right, left right if you don't. If it didn't come through, but this is this is not good. This ain't good. How long have I been going? I have no idea. The sanctuary of water and ice. This is where we get our first mask. Uh, look at the pirate. Uh, we can do this level. It's a fairly short level. Why not, you know? <laughs> These dudes. <clears throat> of course they didn't. Cool. This depends on how many lumps you have. Um, basically, if you just keep if you just keep chugging along, uh, you'll always have enough lumps. You don't actually need that many, and then you can move on. So this is the first kind of sanctuary type level. Uh, this is where we will get... Listen to that theme. Like, listen, no one can tell me that theme isn't great. And uh, this is the first pirate that kind of does this. There's gonna be several in the game that do does this kind of teleporting shit. But these dudes are bitches. That theme is so great. And these French people really know what they're doing. French Canadians, actually. I think this game was made by French Canadians. Those fools know what they're doing. God, this dude is difficult to hit. Okay, one more. Told you. 
And this theme is great as well. The music in this level... This level has... Such a thick... Sick theme. You don't even know it. You'll find out in just a bit. First of all, you have an underwater section. And a cage. So it starts out calm, the theme. You know, it's all chill. Little marimbas and all that. Floating around throughout the track. God, come on, just rise up through the water. Cool. So yeah, right now it's all good. It's all Gucci, all chill. I mean, look at this place. This place is pretty crazy. We have another pirate. Like how the this is like the battle theme, but the battle theme changes for these areas. So that's a freebie. That lum. What you do is Bust open this door. There it is. This this part of the th this level music is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Told you there is that same melody again. So what you got to do is grab the sphere. And walk it all the way back. But you see what I'm talking about with the integra the integration of the music. I think it's such a good idea, honestly. I guess you can't deny that this area doesn't have a great atmosphere to it. What is it? What does it say? Free dumpling for anyone who can figure out how to open the door. Great. But these fools ain't exactly smart, are they? Okay, all we gotta do is walk this back. Almost. Almost had it. I thought that was gonna work. There we go. Excelente. Now we can move on. Actually quite a few lumps here. Okay. I think I got everything now up to this point. Now we're going through the fucking Hall of Mirrors or whatever. Yeah, this. This part ain't exactly easy. What the hell? Okay, that shit was like glitched as hell. That wasn't supposed to happen. You're not, not supposed to be able to run on that. But hey, it actually worked out perfectly. Yeah, as you can see, getting all the lumps here uh, is not is not exactly easy. That wasn't even intentional. I just straight up just like missed that. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? This is really weird. I pressed back 
Why does that do that? I press back and do you see how it like... Weird. Okay. That's really strange. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is gonna be difficult like this. Why does pressing back swerve me to a one direction? Interesting. Motherfucker. Okay. This is the... Uh, Marsh's level all over again. I'm making an absolute ass of myself. There we go. No! No, 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 no. Fuck. Okay. This is the last death, I promise. It's not supposed to be that difficult. It kinda is, though. Uh... No! Oh, why does it? Why is it so difficult? Whatever. I thought of maybe like if things like get really bad, I can like come back here off screen and collect these lumps, and we have the for first boss of the game. Uh, how am I doing on lumps? Okay, I'm missing five. Anyways, this guy is easy as hell. This is a gimmick boss fight. You just gotta like... Kill him like that. Did you even catch what happened? First time I did this as a kid, I didn't even catch what, what the fuck was happening. I just kinda killed him. If that's like the one lump that I missed, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh man, this space the space doesn't register all the time. I'm getting what's wrong here. Why I'm getting like fucked up. It's cause the space bar doesn't always register. You see there? Oh, this is the most difficult section of this game. Yeah, it doesn't. This is good. This is fucked up. I'm gonna have to figure out how to remap the controls of this game. I'm like very motherfucker. I swear this is easy. Like, listen. Told you. Alright. I think that is the one lump that I missed, didn't I? Maybe. I actually don't know. Okay, so here's the deal. Let me explain the situation. This stuff with the masks and Polocus used to freak me out as a kid. Uh, you'll see why. You get the energy and shit. Look at this mask. Look at this mask rising out of this. Don't tell me that's not a creepy mask. That mask is creepy as a motherfucker. Look at that smile. Straight out of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Of course it teleports you out. I'm pretty sure there's lums around here. And you come to this creepy ass cutscene with the music. This dude's voice. Yeah. I mean, again, this f used to freak me out when I was a kid. The way he talks and shit. Look at him. 
He has titties too. It's weird as hell. It's like weird arms. He has like molester arms. With like the fucking Gucci track pants and weird titties. He's like a mumble rapper. That mask is fucking insane. Anyways, I did not manage to get... Where is the second cage? Shit. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Because I swear I did okay. Anyways, man here heals. This is a good level. But before we do that, I'll go back and get uh, all the shit in this level. Next time, I'll wrap it up here though, for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Rayman to the Great Escape. Yeah, peace out guys. Goodbye.